The Foodport project combines relevant actors of the food sectors and the logistics sector. Scotch whisky is known internationally for its quality, uh, its high quality and also for its environmental credentials. So customers all around the world expect a high quality product um, that's been produced and manufactured and transported with care. I think the Agro Food Cluster is one of the most important economical activities in West Flanders. Uh, with the production of uh, potatoes, ground vegetables, uh, meat, we are uh, one of the strongest uh, provinces in Flanders on that level. And um, it's not only the primary sector that is important, but also the industrial transformation of food. Agro food cluster in West Flanders needs a strong combination between food business and logistics. The trade of fresh fish from the catch to the consumer requires very fast service. The transport from redfish fillets from Iceland to Cologne by air transport and then from Cologne to Bremerhaven by truck takes one and a half day, while the transport by ship takes six or seven days at minimum. So you have to find a way to prolong the shelf life of the fish. We did two different tests. First we bought a container with a special technique that can change the atmosphere inside. Additionally, we filled sealed crates with modified atmosphere. Every second day we examined the fish and evaluated the sensory freshness and the bacterial growth. We repeated the procedure eight times, but the result was not satisfactory. The test could only achieve a maximum of two days of longer shelf life of the fish. However, we are confident that a modal shift from air or road transport to sea transport will be one sustainable logistic solution at some point in the future. Well, the Brugge as a board has a long tradition in food, it mm -hmm. is surrounded by agriculture uh, production and it's at the sea where we have the fish. Uh, traditionally as a fish port, the Zeebrugge is very well known. Then we have some players who invested a lot in food capacity and storage capacity. And of course, we have the position of being an ideal distribution platform for the European Union close to the main market Added value can be created in the port, so we have uh, the distribution, for instance, of the kiwi fruit, where there is a packing installation, we have the fruit, uh, Tropicana fruit juice, uh, which is distribution for the UK, for France. The port of Gothenburg has good natural conditions to further develop as a strong hub for Sweden and Scandinavia. As a hub, we also have a lot of uh, connections within Sweden, the hinterland connections. We have more than 25 daily rail shuttles covering most of the Swedish hinterland market and also the Norwegian market. With Foodport, we have tried to set up green transport corridors and uh, green transport corridors should be sustainable, efficient and effective. Russia is the only market that we can face on the short term to make some new deals and to open new lines. So definitely we go ahead for the potatoes uh, as, a, as a basic load. Um, as to the return cargo, uh, as we are working with uh, bulk ships, definitely we go ahead for having bulk loads backwards. We produced a large study on the, the logistics of the whiskey industry uh, a couple of years ago, identified this area as having particular transport needs for getting to central Scotland. The main objectives of the project are to move bulk spirit from this area uh, by rail rather than by road, therefore saving lorry miles and with resultant carbon emission savings. Secondly, we want to test the capability of the rail network to handle 
whisky products by rail. And we wanted to bring together the best of the private and the public sector together to create an opportunity here. And the fact that we were indemnifying all parties against cost, we were making sure it was cost neutral to them all, I think helped the situation. This service is key to Scotland's economy. As far as I'm concerned, it's the passport to Europe from Scotland. Services is structured on the basis that we have three roll on roll off ferries per week. It's about a four to six hour turnaround of time, which makes it fast, efficient, and very sustainable for Scotland. And the green transport corridor can only be sustainable in the long run not only when it's green in an environmental way, but also in an economic way. For our university here in Bremerhaven, it was the first Interact project. We benefited a lot from the different partners we had in the project. These were people from business, from infrastructure and from science. And having them together in the project, uh, we got insights we would never have received by empirical research or by desk research. That was really a big benefit of Interreg. And also, we worked very hard on the transnational cooperation within uh, the project. Uh, we supported uh, food producers, which are by nature working transnational, and logistics service providers to set up these green corridors. And we worked very hard uh, together with the partners in the different regions to make this happen. And this uh, mutual trust and this transnational cooperation will help us uh, to continue the process after the project has uh, ended.